It was supposed to be a peaceful retreat, a chance to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and reconnect with nature. But as Laura set up her tent deep in the heart of the woods, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. As the sun began to set, Laura built a small fire and settled in for the night. But as she lay in her sleeping bag, she heard strange noises coming from the darkness beyond the campsite. The wind howled through the trees, but this sounded different. It was a low growl that seemed to come from all around her. Despite her growing unease, Laura tried to convince herself that it was just the sounds of the forest. She closed her eyes, hoping to drift off to sleep, but as the night wore on, the growling grew louder and more frequent, and she began to feel like she was being watched. Just as she was about to get up and leave, Laura heard a twig snap nearby. She scrambled for her flashlight and shone it in the direction of the sound, revealing a pair of glowing eyes staring back at her. Trembling with fear, Laura realized that she wasn't alone in the woods after all. As the creature slowly approached her tent, she knew that she had to get out of there before it was too late. But as she fumbled with the zipper, Laura heard the unmistakable sound of claws scraping against the fabric. She froze in terror, realizing the creature had already reached her. The violent shaking of the tent sent Laura into a state of panic as she desperately looked for a way out. She screamed for help, but the only response was the creature's low growling, which seemed to be getting closer. Laura knew she had to act fast. She grabbed her phone and dialed for help, but there was no signal. She was alone in the middle of the woods with a creature that was determined to get her. With no other options left, Laura huddled in the corner of her tent and prayed for morning to come. Every rustle of leaves or snap of a twig made her jump, and she could feel her heart racing. As the night wore on, Laura's fear turned into exhaustion. She was beginning to lose hope that she wouldn't make it out of the woods alive. But just as she was about to give up, she heard the faint sounds of footsteps approaching. Laura's heart leapt with hope as she heard the footsteps of the approaching hikers. She emerged from her tent, tears streaming down her face as she saw the group of strangers rushing towards her. But just as quickly as relief had come, it vanished. The hikers stopped abruptly their expressions turning to horror as they looked beyond Laura. She turned around to see the creature, its eyes glowing in the darkness as it snarled and lunged towards her. In that moment, Laura knew that she was not going to make it out of the woods alive. She screamed for the hikers to help her, but they were frozen in fear. The creature was too powerful, too fast. It grabbed Laura by the throat and everything went black. Days turned into weeks, and the search for Laura continued, but despite their best efforts, no one was ever able to find her. Her disappearance remained a mystery, a haunting reminder of the dangers that lurked in the woods. The hikers who had stumbled upon her campsite never spoke of what they had seen that night. They knew that the creature was still out there, waiting for its next victim to wander into the woods alone. They vowed to never go camping again.